Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play on StarCraft 2, where last time we left off, we had finished the Wings of Liberty campaign, episode 1. But we're not quite done with the uh, the series yet. Uh, I was paid to do both Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of the Void as well. So we're going to continue on with episode 2, Heart of the Swarm, which is the Zur campaign. It has been three weeks since the Terran invasion of Char. Deep within a secret research facility in the Umojan Protectorate, Sarah Kerrigan wrestles with the darkness of her past and the uncertainty of her future. Ooh! I guess I could watch the story so far, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly the same as the story so far from before, which we didn't actually watch. Um, there will be a cutscene, I believe, when I just go into the new campaign now. Uh, I will preemptively say this episode and possibly the next few, uh, my voice is a little effed because I'm a little ill at the moment. It doesn't sound too bad right now, I think, but it might get worse over time, but we'll see. Just as a, a, a note. Anyway, let's jump into the campaign. I'm going to once again play on normal difficulty. I know, ugh, loser, but whatever, I don't care. Um, I'm just playing this for fun. Um, yeah, probably just going to do all campaigns on normal difficulty, so whatever. Anyway, let's do it. Alright, uh, I can't believe they put the Wilhelm scream in that. Prologue. With the disappearance of the Queen of Blaze, the Zerg Swarm has been shattered. Jim Raynor's rebel forces have smuggled Sarah Kerrigan off Char, leaving the planet to General Warfield and the Dominion. Meanwhile, the pro powerful Zelnaga artifact has disappeared. In a hidden base in the Umojan Protectorate, Raynor and Prince Valerian have begun conducting tests to ensure that Kerrigan's return to humanity is complete. Return to... what did I say? Return? Return to humanity. But they are running out of time. Throughout the sector, Emperor Menk's forces carry out a relentless hunt for the Dominion's most hated enemy, Sarah Kerrigan. Sarah. Sarah Kerrigan.
open the door, son. Valerian's orders, sir. No visit. Open the door. to this test. It's your last one. Now give us a minute. Very well. We're getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Minsk. Forget Minsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Minx is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us! Test phase two, commencing. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. All right. Ah. Okay. I've, I've done what you okay. asked. The next step. See if you can order the drone to mutate into a hatchery. Uh, B. H. Okay. Ah, I didn't realize that. Ha that's how they were the build buildings. Of a Zerg base. It spreads creep so that other structures can be built. The hatchery also produces lava which you use to morph into more drones or other Zerg creatures. When you use lava, the hatchery will replenish them over time. Okay. Okay, Kerrigan. I'm releasing more drones into the test chamber. See if you can order them to gather those resources. Alright. Wow, this is like really simple strategy, isn't it? Uh, wait, what? What are these things? Larva. Cute. Morphs into Zerg units. Oh, I see. Ah! So I'm like, I was building more by doing that, I guess? Or they build over time? I'm not sure. You're doing well, Kerrigan. I've got Can to you morph more drones. I need more an supply. overlord to morph anything else. Do it then. They're building themselves, One okay. shouldn't hurt. Give me an overlord. Ah, right. The Zerg use overlords to generate more supply. 
Your current supply maximum is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen, along with how much supply you are currently using. If you do not have enough available supply, you will not be able to morph a unit. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, so this is definitely a lot di more different than uh, the Terran campaign, that's for sure. Okay, now you want me to get a drone? Where's my, why is he going over there? Does it matter where they go? Does he have to be nearby, or how does that work? Excellent. I plan to stop here, but let's take this a little further. Yeah, why not? Try mutating a drone into a spawning pool. A spawning pool, you say? Alright. Go over there. We have so many larvae. The spawning pool allows the hatchery to turn lava into zerglings. Into zerglings. I probably shouldn't do this, actually, you know but I've done this it. Is going to end badly, right? We have a controlled environment. Where is Kerrigan, anyway? Where am I? Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying I. Am I, am I her? I guess I am, but... The spawning pool is finished. You should go down to the test chamber and inspect it. I can see just fine from up here, thanks. I think that's all we need today, Kerrigan. Great work. If you think that was great work, wait till you see this. I'll make some zerglings. Ah. They cost 50? Are they, like, the worst thing ever? Kerrigan, what are you doing? Putting your controlled environment to the test. Oh, I need to remove Overlord. Oops. Alright, well, need some resources for that. That's crazy, though. This is interesting. Wait, what am I... What am I pressing? I'm pressing V. There we go. How many zerglings have I got? Oh, there's loads of them already. Did I each make more than one? I didn't ask you to create zerglings! Funny thing about zerg, Valerian. They never do what you expect. Shut down the experiment. Get sentry bots in there to sanitize those holding cells. I thought you said it was Locked in a controlled the environment anyway. The eradicator. Nothing gets out! Maybe if I destroy your pretty eradicator, you'll learn you can't control the zerg. Okay. So I have a bunch of zerglings. Can I recruit some more? I need overlord. So I guess we get like three or something? The sentry bots are destroying the zerglings in their pens. I can change that. Destroy them. I probably should be attacking one at a time. Oh, I'm getting more zerglings. Yay! Kill them all. I sense more zerglings in holding pens. Valerian, you were very careless. Perhaps I'll free them too. Oh, I just has all of them selected. Okay, that's good. So I don't have to select a different one every time. Okay. Bonus objectives: release zerglings from pens. Okay. Let's start doing that. We should be able to take on one or so. Containment breach. Zerg specimens free. Evacuate the scientists. Get all personnel out of there. These things are the worst, like, defense against Zerglings ever. <laughs> we just came off of the planet Char a couple weeks ago, and they don't realize how to defend this thing. Or how to defend against Zerglings, the tiniest, smallest creature that we could possibly recruit. There's a bunch more we got. Not any more overlords. Okay. More Zerglings. Good. I oh, right, of course, that's why. We just got a whole bunch of new units. Okay, so where are we supposed... Okay, we're supposed to go over there. So this is... Yeah, we just want to do this, don't we? There's no reason not to. So yeah, someone... Well, several people, I think, said that I'm going to really enjoy this campaign. The Zerg campaign. But, um, generally, I'm not a huge fan of... Uh, mass... I think I talked about this actually in the last episode of the Terran campaign. I don't generally like factions in any game that have like that have mass units, basically, but really sh like quantity over quality. I, gen I generally prefer quality over quantity. Um, that said, the campaign itself, I hope it's still fun because I I, I would like to still enjoy this a lot. Get all personnel off that level. Build another Overlord. No more personnel remain oh, on some that level. one. It's all out of control. Containment 
containment door closed. Automated gas defense activated. That containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. Which turrets are they? What are we talking about? Destroy gas turrets. Zero out of three. Are these those three? Well, either way, let's uh, wait for my other units to arrive. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. But yeah, I hope the campaign itself will be fun. Oh, they are. Move oh right, that's why they move there, because of this thing. Right, sorry, my bad. So, how do I get more? It just gets more over time, I guess. Also, I could build more drones, I guess, but I don't think we really need to. Let's build another Overlord and then some more Zerglings, once I can. Here's all my Zerglings, you guys get over there as well. They're surprisingly slow, I thought these things were way faster than they are. They're faster in the creep though, aren't they? So the creep is kind of like the pylons, I guess, for the, te uh, the um, Protoss, it seems. They kind of, they expand where you can build. I guess, which is interesting. I like this. This is cool. I like that there's completely different mechanics for each faction, uh, essentially. Not enough minerals. Just keep building more up, yeah. I'm pretty sure we already have way too many units for this, but... I mean, may as well go all out, right? Let's destroy everything. Oh, that... Wait, that doesn't even hurt me. I thought he was just supposed to just, like, hurt me a lot. Which is why I was, like, a, I was afraid to go in here. Alright. Just attack shit. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be way too fucking easy like this. Let's grow a couple and attack different things. Yeah. I think I made a few too many Zerglings. I've got more waiting for me at base as well, which I really should go grab for no apparent reason, but... Alright. Oh wait, I just got a whole bunch more. I forgot about that. More Zerglings here. Well, they're mine now. They're mine now. Thanks for the Zerglings. There's some more right there. These sentry bots are just such a joke. Oh, they've got a whole load more here. Are they now? I had no idea. I thought we were just going on a merry journey. Actually, even more over here. Ooh, Mighty Mouse. Achievement. You guys can destroy that if you want. Alright. You got another two or three groups, is it? Two groups. Nice. Zerklings. Not yet, I haven't. I'm still in your This is probably a super out. tiny army as well for this faction, but still. This is uh quite a few Zerglings. For this mission it seems like anyway. No, I lost one. Oh they've got a big dude. Oh wait, that's the mission. The eradicator. Well it's dead now. It's it's dead now. I have too many Zerglings. I actually have too many Zerglings. There we go. Yay, more Zerglings! Eradicator destroyed. Situation critical. The Zerg have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility. We did it! And it, we got all achievements. Complete the lab rat mission in the Heart of the Swarm campaign. Destroy 35 sentry bots on the lab rat mission. Complete the lab rat mission in less than 10 minutes on normal difficulty. Oh, we were. Almost. Okay. Um, I'm assuming, actually, I didn't really f pay attention to this. I'm assuming I'm still on the triple speed. Because that, I don't know, maybe that's why the unit seems so slow. Because I'm not on triple speed. I'll have to check, uh, check that in the next one, I guess. Either way. Let's continue. I don't know if this is going to be the same as in the previous campaign. Where we have a base and everything. But I guess we'll find out now. You made a mess down there, Sarah. 
starting to regret bringing me back? <laughs> Never. I heard about what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry. He made his choice. I made mine. Maybe you should have let him kill me. I slaughtered millions as the Queen of Blades. That wasn't you, Sarah. Leave the past behind, and let's focus on getting out of here. I'll suit up, and meet you here in an hour. Okay. That sounds good. My ship is prepped and we're ready to go. Head your way now. Okay, so... I guess no base, or at least not yet. I don't, I don't know if we get something later. Because right now it just seems like mission after mission, but... We'll see, I guess. I like this, though. It's different than the first campaign. I wouldn't mind seeing something similar to the first campaign, because I really quite liked the interactivity you had with, like, people and the uh, armory and the uh, mercenaries you could hire, etc. But I guess we'll see if we're going to get something like that. I'm guessing I should end the episode here, though, and then, because it looks like start mission is obviously going to start the next mission. So let's leave it here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, mission two, I guess. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.